Hi, I'm Liz with Out of the Box DIY, and today we are here to show you how to do our most popular project, the acrylic pour, in collaboration with Stockfish Head. So here we have three different color options. Yep, so with blue hen, so the, the blue and the yellow tie into the state colors of Delaware. And then for 60 Minute, it's our classic dogfish head green. If you walk around our Milton Brewery, you're gonna see different shades of green throughout, which ties into uh, our flagship 60 Minute. And then the bright colors of Miami, our Miami Brewery, uh, which opened up last year, is located in the art district of Wynwood. Very bright, colorful murals, uh, pinks, yellows, blues, all different colors. So each kit comes with everything you need, including gloves, a rag, um, a toothpick to scrape everything out, and you don't have to worry about anything extra. So first, we are going to start with layering our paint. So grab whichever paint color you like first. I'm gonna start with the blue. I'm a, I'm a blue <gasps> fan too, see? We almost picked the yeah, same I know. one. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take your little ramekin. Okay. You're gonna untwist the top, and you're just gonna pour as much in as you want. I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna leave some left in here because we might want to use it again later. Okay. So put it down to the side and then grab your next color. And do the same thing. And then the next one. <laughs> it's pretty basic, yes, right? Yes, it's, it's, yeah. It's not I, too I, I difficult I think I yet. have it figured out. <laughs> okay, now I will suggest more trying to fill it up. Okay to the top a little bit Okay, more. we can definitely do and that. We, yeah, you can pick up any pink color. And a little yellow for the sun in Miami, all right. Now that looks great. When your gloves are on, all you're gonna do is slowly pour all of the paint out over top of the whole thing. Yeah, that's great. And like I said, if you run out of paint by the end, of it, don't worry, we will just fill the ramekin again. And I ran out of paint. So did I. All right. So, and you don't have to layer the paint in the same exact order as you did the first time. Feel free to be experimental and creative with it. And a tip that I have learned from doing this many times is if you would like to see one color more than the others, end with that one. So use that one last at the very top. And you can also pour it wherever you want. It is okay to pour over top of what you have already poured. Another thing to note is that you don't have to necessarily cover the whole thing with paint. I was just it's about a, to ask that. Yeah, that's totally fine because what we're gonna do next is pick up the piece of wood okay. and we're gonna let it drip. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so when you're dripping it, you're gonna try to guide the paint to cover those spots, empty spots, yeah. And you'll see sometimes the paint runs into each other and they end up making really beautiful colors. What you can do also is let the paint drip onto the shark and then you'll have even more paint to drip and work with once we um, pick up that shark. So after you're done um, dripping the paint, what you'll want to do is really carefully take your finger along the edge and just like swoosh the paint around the edges so that all of the wood is hidden and covered by the paint. But when you're doing this, be careful not to get your finger on the top of the piece because it'll kind of ruin the really beautiful marbling. Also, you might want to get on the inside of the shark. So I am finished with mine. I'm just gonna put it to the side here and do the same steps with my shark. So just place it flat on the table? Yeah, for now. Okay. Later, we will put it back onto the ramekin okay. so that it can dry. Okay, so now just pick up your shark and do the same thing. Just let it drip and then take your finger and rub around the sides once you're happy with how it's dripped. And the cool thing about this is, um, you know, 
you can pour the shark and the shield like together at the same time, or you can pour them at different times, like one after the other. And um, they're always gonna end up looking really cool, really unique, and um, pretty different from each other. That is amazing. Yeah, it turned yeah. out really awesome. See, you did a great job. Yay! Yay! We did it! <laughs> Um, Thank you. That so was that's great. it for the for the pour. And then the next step is resining and hardening once this has dried for at least 24 hours. So the next step is to resin your project. And how we do that is combining the resin and the hardener. Now, what you want to remember is that this is professional grade resin and hardener. So if it gets on anything, it's permanent, like permanent, permanent. So be very careful. Don't get it on anything, including yourself. That's why you have two pairs of gloves. So second thing to note is that when you get to this step in the project, you wanna make sure that your shark and your shield are very separate because once the resin and hardener dry together, again, it's very permanent and you will not be able to pull them apart. So make sure they're very separate when you do this next step. Okay, so what you wanna do is open whichever bottle first, the resin or the hardener. I'll go with the resin. Pour the whole thing out. Next, you're gonna open your hardener and you're gonna do the same thing. Just pour it right into the cup. You're gonna take your popsicle stick and mix it. So you're gonna mix it really well and eventually you will start to see that it gets a little cloudy you will see some bubbles, actually a lot of bubbles, and you wanna keep stirring it, I don't know, maybe like a minute. See all those bubbles? And sometimes the bubbles will start flying out, but don't, don't try to catch them. Okay, so it's nice and mixed. What you're gonna do is uh, just simply pour it over the shark and the shield. And this is similar to the, um, to the paint step because you're gonna pour it out and then you're gonna lift up the cutout and you're gonna let it drip. Now with this, you kinda wanna be conservative with it. Don't pour the whole thing out right away, but just make sure that you have enough to cover, almost cover the shark and the shield and it's empty, so let's put that down. Next step is lift it up and just let it drip. And again, same concept, you can let this drip on to your other shape so that you are sure to cover everything. Now when you're doing this, you kind of want to hold this up to the light to see any missing spots. Like right now I can see that there's still a spot that hasn't been hit yet. So you just gotta make sure you drip it over all of the spots and be careful to hold it over top of this box so the resin doesn't get on anything. And then you're just gonna take your fingers and swoosh it over the outsides. Make sure that everything gets covered. Okay, so that's one. The shield, now let's do the shark. And then after we're done this step, we will go in with a little toothpick and pop any large bubbles that we find. So the next step is to heat your shark and your shield. And we personally use a creme brulee torch, but a hair dryer works just as fine. You wanna heat your objects and then you just let it sit for 24 to 48 hours to make sure that it dries fully um, and that it's not sticky or tacky. So give it enough time to cure it. So each kit comes equipped with this little baggie as well. This has your magnets in it, your toothpicks, and your sawtooth hanger. The last step that you'll do once everything has resined and dried completely is you'll put magnets on the back of your shark so that this becomes a really cool fridge magnet. You can display your beautiful artwork, show how proud you are of your creativity. So just boop, 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 one, two, three, pop them right on the back and chuck it on the fridge. And you have a sawtooth hanger as well, and this will go on the back of the shield. All you have to do is just hammer it right in, and you're good to go. 
All of our projects are available on our website, outofthebox.diy.com, and you can pick whichever color scheme you like, and it's a $5 flat rate shipping fee to anywhere in the U.S. International people, you can get one too, just message us for more details. And, something special to note, there's a limited of 500. I have number one right here. I'm gonna be reboxing it as soon as we're done and we'll get it into, into the mail to the lucky one that orders it first. Woo! Cheers.